Yo, hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video. In 2023, break the gap between Blogger and WordPress for enhanced blogging capabilities. This tutorial offers a step-by-step -step guide on connecting the two platforms allowing you to explore the best of both worlds. So guys, let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have the full information. So, guys, basically, WordPress and Blogger are like two faces of the same coin. So, Blogger is a website, WordPress is a website. Um, WordPress allows you to build a website and create content in it. The same thing goes for Blogger. The only thing is we can't say that a Blogger is more has more advantage in making blogs, creating posts, and sharing content. On the other hand, WordPress is more advantage or has the higher hand when it comes to designing your website and making it look better. So how can we actually merge these two together? Well, basically in the WordPress itself, it is basically impossible. If you went through here, so try to search for uh, integration or app, you will not find anything that actually can allow you to connect WordPress with your blogger. On the other hand, if you went to blogger or WordPress and we try to go to the plugin section and we click on add new right through here, you will find this page which has the app marketplace or the plugins marketplace of WordPress. If we go into here and search, try to search for Blogger and wait a little bit, as you can see, you will find all of these files that can help you uh, do a lot of things. One of them is Blogger Importer. This is basically a tool that can help you import post images and comments and categories also and also blogger tags from a blogger blog then migrate authors to WordPress users. Another thing which is blogger importer extended. The only plugin you need to move from blogger to WordPress. Import all your content and set up 301 redirect automatically. And there is more than that. But basically guys, these are not really integrations. These are more like saying by Bye to your blog and welcome in the content into your WordPress. Well, we are not going to use it that way. We are going to use it in a similar way. So basically what we are going to do is to first of all build our website in WordPress. We're going to make a good template, add a good menu and make our website look as beautiful as it can be. Then we will have to face the next step, which is basically having content in this specific website. Well, you can create content in here by going to pages, um, going to posts, uh, creating new posts. There is so many ways to actually do that. You can manage to create them. But for those who are used to Blogger or in the domain and they are very, very used to Blogger, they might find it hard to click on add new button and then uh, create and post in here from scratch. So what do they do since basically the platform is not as easy as it might look like. For example, on blog, basically if you create new posts, you'll have all the tools right in front of you. But here, some of them are hidden. Um, you can't really know what you are working with. You can't really know how you can make your typing even bigger. So it is very, very hard to maintain. That is why making your posts or blogs inside of your blogger might be very easy. For example, I want to make a title. Hello, guys. I can just select that. And then here I can edit this one to be a heading. As you can see, it can go down here and change it to be a paragraph. And then I can just type whatever I want. So there is a bunch of options, guys, that you can actually go for. And with it, you can... Uh, make a very good looking content a very beautiful blog and then once you feel like you're done and you publish your content on your blog this is when it comes to your WordPress so you have to download first one of the 
actual plugins that I have shown you in the beginning of this video. So once more, go to plugins, add new. So here we go, add new. And then you should search for blogger as the beginning for our traveling. So here it goes. And basically here, you'll find blogger importer and blogger importer extended. You choose whatever you want. For example, we're going to install this one. And the next thing is to activate it. So this is what I'm going to do, the same thing. Then here I am on the blogger importer. So now definitely what you need to do is search for it in this left side menu. If you couldn't find it, then that means it didn't appear and do it is not available for your version of WordPress. So let me just try to click here to refresh the page. And here we have it. So import post comments and it's migrated from blogger blog and immigrated with WordPress. So here it needs some uh, update. Let's try to search for them. It activates everything. Let me just deactivate. But in general, uh, it should be in the left here somewhere. And the next thing that you need to do is to basically import the uh, content that you have on blog. So all you need to do is go to settings theme I mean and in theme click on backup so click in here download the backup it will have all the content that you have on your website then go to here and simply go to your plugins search for blogger open the dashboard and import the data through there it is very easy guys very straightforward it doesn't really take that much of time so if this plugin itself didn't work for you you can search for another one so blogger here we go let's just wait click on this one and install it and if it doesn't work for you or any one of these that didn't work for you then i have the correct one to work with i have the best one to work with but let's try it out so here it is this one is working so run importer so here we go we're going to run it um 20 plus free here you should just put your blog id should be a number so just go to your blog search for your id it will be somewhere in the settings here go analytics measurement id it will be here so you have to connect it with your google analytics uh, measurement id and right after that all you need to do is simply paste it in that section then submit it and right after that you would be able to import all the files from there into your WordPress website with ease and yeah guys that was it for today's video it was a very easy very straightforward video to make you understand the basics of integrating your WordPress website with your blogger website. So yeah guys, thanks a lot for watching. If you do have any more questions, make sure to leave them down below in the comment section. Thank you guys for watching and let's meet in the next tutorial.